Okay, so I'll try to be quick. This is about an uh, internship uh, toward the end of your uh, study, it will be the second semester of second year. You have an opportunity to go for an internship. This is actually quite good. So you get in touch with companies, you get in touch with research labs, and you start to apply what was presented before. So all the things that you have studied with us. So uh, the host, host institution for the internship could be the University of Padova itself. So any uh, laboratory, any research lab at our university, any other organizations, such a company that you know, a company that you will meet during our events, and so on and so forth, a research center in other universities as well. Uh, it could be located in Italy or abroad, so we are very open with respect to this, okay? The important thing, the host institution that you will pick must be in the uh, career office database at our university, but this is not a problem. Most, most of, in most cases, they are already included in our databases. If they are not, it is a quick procedure that we go through together, and in a, in a second, we will be up and running with a new partner. Uh, what is the internship? It's a period of work orientation and training for you, for the student, which does not take the form of an employment relationship. So it will be yourself, the student, uh, who will go through the internship. Then we have the host institution, which will be the company uh, or the research lab. You need to have a company tutor who will be responsible for your activity there. And also, you need to have a tutor at the university. So here, a data science responsible who is going to take care of making sure that you're going through the, the right path for you in terms of the education process. So uh, this is about the duration. It, uh, maximum duration is basically 12 months. This is pretty high. We, we usually go for maximum eight to 10 months, but by low, you can go up to 12. You can stretch it up to there. I say cumulative duration because you can have multiple internships if you want. So the, the standard thing that is going to happen for, happen for the students is that they go to a single internship activity and the typical duration of that will go from four to six months. This is a typical case. Right, and they have a single internship uh, at the end of their uh, study. So I would say second semester or second year, but this is a normal thing. But we are also, of course, open to other solutions. So you can also have multiple internships in case you want to. Uh, for example, you can have one in the first year and one in the second, but those are special cases that may need to be discussed with the, with the commission. So you need to discuss them with myself, basically with me, and we need to decide whether this is the best path for you. Um, so the minimum duration uh, is not currently defined by law, by the Italian law, but however, we know that uh, doing some numbers here, uh, the minimum duration should be approximately 2.5 months. So we say from three months is a real, real minimum for you to go to have this internship in a company or research lab to do something meaningful, right? Um, when? So usually this is going to be as I carried out during the second semester of your second year, right at the very end of your study, you know, packed. And it can be at the end of the internship, you can, could be happy with the company or you could be happy with the activity that you carried out with the research lab. You can extend it and you can possibly turn it into a master's degree uh, thesis. So you can extend the internship and work a little bit more on that in a scientific way in order to have a very nice thesis out of it. So also, as I said before, multiple internship periods are possible um, across different academic fields, and we need to, and those things have to be discussed with us, with us basically. So we have a reference website, which is uh, you need to keep in mind because the, um, the main responsible for that is the University uh, Unipedi Career Office. This is a, uh, the website. Also, this slide will be available for you. Um, now, due to the COVID-19, most of the meetings are basically online or over the phone, but we hope that in the future this will improve. Um, and this um, uh, an office, the career office, is responsible for sending you and dealing with all the official documents that you need to fill and you need to sign in order to, to go to start and, and go through uh, your internship period. Uh, here at the University of Padua, at this uh, master's degree, we have a number of partners. This is just an example. We have more than that. We have a number of companies that are uh, collaborating with us every year. And every year we organize a, um, an open house, an open day, 
just for the companies, just for the internship. This should be around November each year, so uh, soon after the summer, we're gonna have this event where the companies will be meeting the students. So be ready for that. We will be sending out announcement for, for this day. And uh, in during that event, the companies will be uh, talking about uh, their businesses and how and why they need data scientists. So how they would like to use a data scientist within, within their teams. And uh, they, they will, will have brief talks. You know, we have brief talks from the companies and then we have a collection of people from uh, from the data science students who from you, who will be, you know, uh, will have an opportunity to get in touch directly with the companies. If possible this year, we're gonna have it live with, in, a, in a live situation, not just online, of course. So um, also important is we, we set up an information space that we have here at the university. This is the link for the Moodle page at the Department, at the department of Mathematics in this University of Padova. If you go to this link and you, you will see that there is a special course which is called Data Science Information Space. Over there you will find updated information on the internship rules uh, in terms of procedure, um, how to, to start the internship, how, how to go through it, how to finalize it. Everything is explained properly there. Also, you will find information on the documents that are required. So this is very detailed. You, you will find information about the Erasmus program, which is continuously updated, as was said before. And you find more information about other events that we may organize in the future, like seminars, scientific meetings, and so on and so forth. So in order to stay connected with us, I strongly recommend that you subscribe to this Moodle page, the Data Science Information Space, so that you will be receiving announcement. And any time that you want to contact the student will be pushing announcement to this you know, uh, sort of uh, channel that we use to communicate with you. So uh, the responsible uh, people for this is myself over here and also Laura over there. And uh, we are basically in charge of uh, staying in touch with the student and one by one uh, listening to what you would like to do, uh, facilitating your internship period by uh, being in touch with the company and resolving any pro possible problem that you may face. Okay, so. If you want, this is my email if you have any problems. So for, for today, I wanted to be uh, quick just to give you a brief presentation. And then in November, we're gonna have an official event where we, we can talk for you know, longer and also meet the companies and start planning ahead with the student who may be interested. So thank you so much. I think it's time for the next speaker, yes.